Welcome fellow doggers, friends, and fans to another edition of Off The Hook here on Big Dog Music Radio, produced and directed by Lisa Day. Each week we like to get together and spin some fabulous tunes by the very talented artists at BigDogMusicMafia.com and get to know one of our fantastic culture warriors who will be joining us in about 15 minutes. If you'd like to be a part of tonight's show, you can call us at 347-838-8898 or you can hit the little Skype button at the top of our player at our blog talk radio station, Big Dog Music Radio. So we hope that you're at home, relaxed, with your boots kicked off, sitting in your favorite chair, with your favorite person, and your favorite beverage. And we hope that you'll enjoy the show. I'm your host, Lisa May. And uh, welcome. It is Saturday night and we are broadcasting live from Big Dog Music Radio Studio and we are live on our iBroadcast channel, which is our Big Dog TV channel, which you can watch and chat with us at BigDogMusicMafia.com. Just look for the Big Dog TV tab and drop down to the chat room and you'll be able to hang out with us there. We are also simulcasting at BigDogMusicRadio.com, Blog Talk Radio, and FTRRadio.com, and we are always thrilled to have you with us, and I suppose it would help if I turned my camera on. <laughs> um, this is uh, definitely a work in progress, as uh, you will hear us say often as we work out the bugs with this live video show. This is a whole new experience for us. Um, As you can see, the background is a little different than it was last week. Figured uh, the um, we'd turn things around, try to spruce things up a little bit, and um, jazz things up, make things a little more interesting. In fact, uh, why don't we just go ahead and uh, throw in a little um, border? They have these uh, very cool effects that we can add to our video stream so for those of you who are only listening and if you're curious what we're talking about you're going to have to get over to our youtube channel after the show if uh, you missed the live show at 10 p.m saturday nights and you can always catch our um our podcast video cast i guess you would call it over at our big dog music mafia youtube channel and tonight our special guest is going to be our spotlight artist i should say mr mike sofka who designed our logo for this show off the hook as well as for our show salt and light from the right which we air every sunday morning and uh he'll be joining us in about oh 12 minutes and before uh he comes uh joins the show want you to know that you can find out all about this fantastic talented artist at mikesofka.com that's mike s o f k a.com and so what we're going to do now as we like to always do for off the hook is to kick off our show with a song and this particular song is by Mr. John Statham and it's called I believe in you You had a dream when you were young To fight and win and conquer all There wasn't anything at all Could bring you down It didn't matter where you were You could knock down any door But tonight the lights have burned out in your town Still I believe in you Your dreams are beautiful I believe in you You make life beautiful to me Sometimes it's hard to 
fight the world Sometimes it's hard to take a fall And to watch life tear down everything you build Some try with lies and cries to reach you Cause in this world they've got to teach you That everything that can defeat you surely will And that was John Statham with I Believe in You. And we're going to go ahead and do our Big Dog Music Mafia and Big Dog Music Radio uh, News Roundup. And uh, for that, we must absolutely use the appropriate border in the newsroom. Yes, I'm being goofy, and uh, I can do that because... I have the camera and I have the controls. <laughs> Our producer is busy uh, letting everybody know where they can find us. Um, if you're just now tuning in over at Blog Talk Radio, we do have this show live uh, video streaming at our Big Dog TV uh, channel, which you can find at ibroadcast.tv forward slash big dog music or even better, you could join us Big Doggers in our Big Dog TV chat room over at BigDogMusicMafia.com. You just go to the um, tab at the top that says Big Dog TV. The drop-down menu will take you to our chat room. And uh, if you're a member, all you got to do is sign in and turn on your chat. So let's see, Big Dog or birthdays? I think uh, what we're going to do from now on is we'll just give a shout out to those who are celebrating birthdays over the, uh, the weekend. And it just so happens today there are no birthdays. But tomorrow we have Cynthia Nagel, Dave Heckman, Joan Benson Peterson, Ken Marrero, Ruth Ann Rose, and Teresa Sifford. So happy birthday to all of you. We hope that you're doing something fun, and chances are you're going over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house for Thanksgiving. I know a lot of uh, folks that I work with um, have all departed the local area to spend the week with uh, loved ones in uh, warmer climates. Uh, my office mate's going down to Florida, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> um, I know that Ms. Lisa, our producer, is down there, so uh, she can... Uh, just rub it in on how wonderfully warm and beautiful and sunshiny it is down there. Anyways, uh, speaking of Ms. Lisa, uh, she has uh, created the Pod Dog blogger over at our Big Dog Music Radio Blog Bites. And a Pod Dog is going to be recapping all of our shows. And she did a phenomenal job 
uh, recapping last week's first live broadcast um, on our Big Dog TV with our fabulous friends from north of the border, Dry County, Mr. Jeff Gallagher, Gallagher, who is uh, actually going in for some surgery later this month. So we do ask that you keep him in your prayers. He's having throat surgery. And if you missed the show, you missed a fantastic show, go over to our pod dog, uh, blogger over at our bigdogmusicradio.com go to blog bites and look for the pod dog um, and you'll find the recaps there for our shows and let's see i am uh, scrolling down looking at uh, what we've got we do have a big event coming up next year uh, we just want you to we want to mention it just so that you'll mark your calendars uh, there is a rally called Defend the Constitution Rally that is being sponsored by Big Dog Music Mafia and the Two Million Bikers to D.C., uh, the Tennessee chapter. Ms. Lisa Joyner and Phil Dedrick are heading that up, and uh, it promises to be an exciting event. This is April 4th through the 6th at the Crazy Horse Recreational Park in Waynesboro, Tennessee. So uh, we're looking forward to that. There's going to be live music, camping, uh, vendors, all kinds of food, and great speakers. So definitely mark your calendars. If you can make it, make it to that, you will get, A, you'll get to meet a lot of your fellow big doggers, um, including uh, yours truly and uh, Ms. Lisa Day. She doesn't know it yet, but she's going to be there. <laughs> All right, and real quick, we have our Big Dog Music Mafia show or Big Dog Music Radio show lineup uh, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. right here uh, at our Blog Talk Radio channel, Big Dog Music Radio. You'll be able to hear 30 minutes of inspirational music and readings by me. Uh, I host that show every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and then at 9.30 a.m., uh, Trade Martin and Jimmy J will be joining uh, the radio with their show to, to, uh, Today in News Sunday Morning Fun House show. And their special guest will be Newton Collier, who is former member of Otis Redding and Sam and Dave's band, along with many other R&B superstars. So you won't want to miss that. I'm told that this man has a lot of fantastic stories to share and uh, I'm sure that he does. Jimmy J and Trade sure do know a lot of uh, the the legends, music legends of yesteryear, and um, some that are still uh, going strong today. So God bless them. And then, of course, Wednesday at midnight is Trade's news show. Uh, half an hour of his take on the hot topics of the week, and that is Tuesday nights uh, at midnight, 9 p.m. Pacific. So we hope that you'll be able to join us for that. Uh, real quick shout out to our sister stations, Con Air Radio Network. Uh, these are all of our brother and sister sites. Uh, FTR Radio, who is uh, simulcasting this show tonight. Traditional American Movement, Ghost Fighter Radio, Free Zone Media Center, Rightstream Radio Network, and we built that network as well as our artistic friends over at Liberachik.com. And I see we do have a couple minutes, and I did find a poem for Thanksgiving that I wanted to share. It's called A Soldier's Thanksgiving Day Poem by Marcy Mobley, published November 12th, 2008. I know we're at war, but I hear changes in sight. Instead of family and friends for Thanksgiving, you'll chow with your comrades tonight. One to your left, the other to your right. Your regiment, your battalion have now become family and friends living day to day in a personal sacrifice on a mission to defend. You are the heroes whose faces we may never get to see, but the pride and glory that lives in a soldier's heart bears one word, integrity. On this day, we give thanks and honor to those brave and true, our banners we will proudly wave, the red, white, and blue. We will give our thanks not only to our God, but also to every soldier for our bounties that be. For they give meaning to words, home of the brave, land of the free. To the soldiers in the mess hall eating their Thanksgiving feast. To the troops in the desert eating another meal ready to eat. May peace, hope, and strength travel with you along the way. And may these wishes find you on a soldier's Thanksgiving day. And so we're going to take just a brief uh, uh, break, and uh, when we come back, we will hopefully have our spotlight artist, Mr. Mark, 
or Mike Sofka on uh, with us shortly. So uh, go ahead and uh, refresh those drinks and we will be right back. I'm A.F. Franco, editorial cartoonist at Conservative Daily News, and you're listening to Big Dog Music Radio. Still stealing, no matter who it's for. Don't tread on me, just step back. Coming at you from the wilds of Western Pennsylvania, this is Pete Grubbs on Big Dog Music Mafia, Western Pennsylvania, where the men are men and the sheep are nervous. I mean what I say, just let me be. Don't tread on me. That always cracks me up, where the men are men and the sheep are nervous. And he's not talking about big dog music radio either. <laughs> He was talking about where he's from. That was Pete Grubbs. And prior to that, that was Mr. A.F. Branco, who, by the way, uh, just had a, um, a a cartoon that he posted over at Facebook. I'm going to pop it up here real quick, uh, which I think is uh, absolutely um, awesome. So if you can't see it, uh, get over and watch the video after the fact. But what it is, is a uh, cliff. And at the bottom of the cliff, it says Ash Heap of history and it shows the uh, swastika, it shows the hammer and sickle, it shows uh, a picture of a Chinaman, I'm, I'm presuming it's supposed to be Mao, and it shows a little ant or a little person pushing the big Obama uh, uh, logo with the words Obamacare on top and uh, that's definitely something to be hopeful for that uh, we can get rid of that monstrosity. And so I see that we do have our caller on the line. And before we bring him on, just want to make a quick introduction. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, when we first uh, met Mike, uh, he joined our site. And I noticed that he had pictures of Veggie Tail cartoons um, that he had uploaded. And I thought, wow, um, did you do those? And I, I wrote to him and he said, yes, in fact, I, uh, I work for Veggie Tales, or I worked for them at the time. And uh, that happens to be one of my sons when he was a little toddler. He enjoyed watching those. And, of course, they are Christian-based. So the, the message is always a, uh, a great message to share to our youngins. And um, when we decided to launch this show, Off the Hook, and our other show, our Sunday show, Salt and Light from the Right, we needed a logo a professional logo and uh, so we contacted Mike and we uh, hired him to design the logos that you now uh, see every Saturday for our show Off the Hook as well as our Sunday morning show Salt and Light from the Right and uh, Mike's website to MikeSofka.com uh, his business is Mike Sofka Illustration which specializes in character design character based logo design and colorful energetic illustrations that are certain to add an element of creativity, playfulness, and eye-catching imagery to your business. Welcome to Off the Hook, Mr. Mike Sofka. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's, uh, it's great to have you on here so that uh, people can get to know a little bit more about you and your work. And um, so let's, uh, why don't we start off and uh, let's go back in time to when you were a young, a young man being raised in the great city of St. Louis, Missouri, when did you know that art was something that you were going to pursue? Yeah, it was actually really early on, um, probably, I'd say, seven or eight years old. Uh, my, my grandma, actually, uh, she really inspired me to start drawing. She was a really, really good artist as well. And I, I would see the sketches that she would come up with, and, and I wanted to try and emulate what she was doing, so I just started drawing on my own and coming up with my own cartoons, and uh, all through high school, drawing and the take apart classes, and just starting to see that it was a, an actual viable career path to where it was something fun that I could do, you know, drawing cartoons for a living, I mean, that's, that, that's a, a dream come true. So, knowing that I could do that, I, I started checking out different art schools, who had the best programs, and uh, I, I ended up landing on uh, going to Ringling College of Art and Design down in Sarasota, Florida, which um, is it, a really, really high caliber college, and just 
absolutely one of the best experiences in my life, uh, learning the ins and outs of the illustration business and uh, from the professors that are actual in the industry. Uh, they, there are professors there. So it's just hands-on experience, and it's just phenomenal. Fantastic. Um, so then when well let me ask you this because uh i have a, a daughter who's in in to art and um as a child she she won she has won a lot of contests and things like that did you well first of all i have to ask did you ever submit you know that uh what was it the, in the reader's digest they always had the the little dog <laughs> and it always says can you draw this dog like the turtle and the pirate yeah 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 <laughs> you know yeah, I, I had looked at those, and, and you know, I had talked to my dad about that at one point. I was like, hey, I should submit this. And he was like, you know what, they, they, they'll they just take anybody's money. I wouldn't do that. You can draw them for sure, but don't waste your time with that. So that was that was probably a, a good piece of advice. Um, but I, I drew them, and I, and I loved drawing the pirate and the turtle. You know, I'd always draw it when I came in the mail. So uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So now, did you win um, any contests uh, as, a, as a child? that you entered? You know, no, I didn't, actually. I, um, I, I, I don't know that I entered many contests, but it was just more, I, you know, growing up, it was a lot of, uh, in my house, it was a lot of art and a lot of music. Uh, all, all of my family members were all just, you know, we're, we're not professional but musicians by any means, but we all love to pick up a, a guitar or sit down at the piano. So it was always very artistic, very musical in our house. So if we want to talk about music, I won some awards with that. I, I chose the artistic career path. So, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um, now, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, apparently, uh, folks are getting some feedback. Are you able to hear everything okay on your end? Oh, I am absolutely. Okay. All right. So apparently, uh, there's uh, something that's causing some feedback. And um, so I'm just going to check something real quick and, and make sure that we yeah. don't we don't have. Uh, I'm trying to figure out why we're getting this feedback, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. We're going to just uh, go ahead and uh, continue on with our conversation here, and uh, let's see. I wanted to ask you so. How did you get into the uh, uh, Veggie Tales? Uh, how'd you end up getting that job? I, I, that was actually that's. Uh, it, I've been wanting to work there for a long time. I, I actually graduated from uh, Ringling College of Art and Design uh, back in 1999, and they were one of the schools, or one of, excuse me, one of the companies that came to recruit from our school. And uh, I, I'd seen what they were about, and just their, their style, and I really loved it. And I had a few of my friends that uh, went to work for them when they were in Chicago. And uh, I, I visited their office there in Chicago and went to their studio, and it was just, just amazing. And that was, like, in, gosh, like, 2003. Um, I absolutely loved it. And so once I, I moved back and forth between Florida and St. Louis and Missouri, and then now I'm in Nashville, Tennessee, and I found that... Uh, Veggie Tales is actually relocated here to Franklin, uh, to Franklin, Tennessee, which is just outside of Nashville. And uh, once I found that out, I, I went on their website and, and thought it just, you know, uh, tried to see if they even were hiring. And lo and behold, they were hiring for a, uh, a web designer position, which I do that as well. Mm -hmm. So I just threw my resume their way, thinking no way that they would ever hire me or even look at me because probably everyone and their brother is trying to get a job with them. So not a week later, I got a call from the admin assistant asking if I could set up an interview. Um, and it was just, I was, I was floored. Then uh, about a month later, after the first interview, I started working with them. And it was just, it was one of the most uh, uh, amazing uh, experiences of my my career, just working with those folks and and seeing what they do, and and they're all shit. I mean, there's there's not one person there that is just you know there's it, they're just all through good Christian, good conservative people that are are really have a heart for children and making a good quality product, and that that you know being part of something like that is amazing. Absolutely, and I can I. I can only imagine that working, you know, knowing that that, that is what uh, the show is all about is Christian values, that, that the people that work there 
have to be awesome people to work with. So uh, um, do you miss working there? Yeah, you know, there's there definitely times that I, I miss working there, and it's um, it, it's it's hard. And I look back sometimes, and I think, wow, you know, it, it was such a great time. But um, it, it's not it, it's for me to be able to stretch my wings and, and do some other stuff that I wanted to do with my career. Um, I, I had to unfortunately let it go, but um, I, I do still keep in close contact with quite a few of the folks there, um, including Larry, which uh, he's the, the the head of the company. I, I still keep in touch with him. Um, but uh, it's, they're, they're all just great people, and, and definitely, you know, if something comes around again in the future, I would love to, even on a, like a freelance basis, I would love to, to, you know, do some more illustrations for them. So. Oh, excellent. Now, um, I went ahead and I, I just tried something. <clears throat> I muted my own mic, and I'm wondering if maybe that might have helped. Um, uh, of course, no, because then the people that... Uh, I can't mute my mic because if I muted at Blog Talk Radio, then <laughs> the folks that are listening at Blog Talk Radio won't be able to hear me. So um, I'm not sure what's going on here, and and I, I do apologize that we're having these technical issues. We uh, we had run a test the other day, and we thought we had everything. We thought we had everything nailed down. Uh, you're you're just uh, the you're the second time that we've done this show live on video, and we we're trying a whole different configuration. Sure. So. Um, but anyways, <laughs> we are a work in progress. Um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a break. But before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, a song by one of our fellow big doggers. And while the song is playing, I thought that uh, we could be uh, uh, enjoying the at the video uh, some of the artwork and um, some of your uh, logo designs, your website designs, and some of your animations. Uh, thought that that might be a, a fun way to um, uh, let folks see what your what your work is all about. So we're going to play a song called Sunflower by Joe Merrick, and then we're going to switch over and let p folks see your artwork, and we will be right back. Flower, she's more beautiful by the hour. She's my sunflower. She doesn't know how much I love her. She wants to touch the planes in the sky, but we just laugh and wave them goodbye. Tonight, she seems a little taller She's my sunflower Stay at home in the backyard with me forever I tuck her in at night She reaches for the stars And I just laugh and whisper that they're too far Her mother, she's my sunflower. What did I do to deserve her? I know someday she'll grow up and away, and won't remember this beautiful sunny day. She'll do all those things I said not to. Touch the sky and always be wondering why daddy said it's too high. Sunflower, stay with me forever. Stay my sunflower, in my backyard forever. Sunflower, stay with me forever. Sunflower. 
I'm surprised to see you here, George. Why, the last time I saw you, you called me a warped, frustrated old man. You remember that, George? Do you remember? Well, well gosh, g gosh, Mr. Potter, I, I, I shouldn't have called you that. Right. Well, what I meant to say was, uh, you're a stinking liberal, a leftist, what? a would-be communist who thinks he's top czar. Yeah, you, you sit around here plotting and scheming to get your oily hands and opinions into the mass media. Is it, is it too much to ask for the poor working man who comes home to a couple of little rooms to be able to relax and turn on the TV or, or, or listen to some music without being exposed to your socialist philosophies? Uh, you're from your bleeding heart anti-American entertainers. Well. Good, patriotic, God-loving Americans don't have to be captive to your liberal claptrap anymore. Now they can log on to, to BigDogMusicMafia.com for the best in conservative and liberal free arts. There's music, there's video, comedy, informative articles, just about any form of art you can think of, and we don't have to be beholding to the mainstream media anymore. So, so goodbye, Mr. Potter. I'm off to Big Dog MusicMafia.com. Big Dog MusicMafia.com. That's dog spelled D A W G. Log in today for the home of conservative arts, where cultural warriors unite and collaborate. A cultural revolution is brewing at Big Dog MusicMafia.com. All right. Well, um, that was uh, our uh, Sunflower by Joe Merrick, and that was a promo by Mr. Tom Balistrieri. It's a, uh, a Christmas promo of sorts um, with a political twist uh, with George Bailey, if you didn't recognize uh, the voice that Tom does so well. And we are uh, chatting with Mr. Mike Sofka, um, a fabulously talented illustrator, animator, website designer, who um, we have been flashing his work while I was supposed to start it when uh, Joe Merrick's song started and I, I put his lyrics up instead. But uh, as the uh, end of the song uh, approached, I went ahead and, and started playing um, on the video station uh, or the video channel. I started showing his images as well as during the... Uh, the promotion that we just played. So we do apologize for the technical hiccups. We're having quite a few of them tonight. Uh, this is only our second ever live video broadcast and uh, we are trying a whole different configuration. Um, so bear with us. Um, anyways, we are uh, talking to Mike. You're still with us, Mike, right? I am, yes ma'am. All right. <laughs> Um, uh, apparently, uh, they're saying that, that when you talk, th there's feedback and it's probably feeding through my open mic. So I'm not going to say much. I'm going to turn it over to you after I ask you a question and mute my mic, uh, while you talk so that hopefully we can cut back on a little bit of the feedback, but why don't you tell us a little bit, um, about your work with, uh, the brainwave studios in Franklin, Tennessee, um, and that project called Franktown Rocks. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, that was um, that was a lot of fun. I uh, I had moved up to Nashville. That was uh, I moved up to Nashville for for that job. Uh, a, a good friend of mine uh, named Rob. He owned that company, and uh, he, he had a, a heart for children, like I do, like Veggie Tales does. To where we wanted quality product for children. Uh, it, it turned out that we made a. It was an online virtual world where children could go and they could uh, create a character. And they could buy clothes for their character and a house for their character. It just you know, there's there's other similar sites like Club Penguin. Uh, that was one of our main competitors. Um, Edit your character and grow your character. Play games, and the the main premise of the site was for kids to learn music. And uh, because uh, Rob, the owner that I mentioned, he is 
he's really big into music, and, and I also I love music, and we just wanted kids to have a platform that they could, you know, learn guitar, learn drum, learn different singing methods. Just as it seems like there's a lot of schools that are starting to drop uh, some music programs and some art programs, so we were wanting to kind of go on that route of uh, giving, giving children a, an outlet to learn some music. Fantastic. Um, now, are you still doing any of that kind of work? Uh, I, I do similar stuff. I, I, we haven't really done much with Frank Town lately. Um, it's actually, it's going through a, a transition right now. It's getting bought by another uh, investor at the moment. So once we once all the cards settle with that, we'll be start to pick up work with that again, and I'll, I'll start doing some work for them. Um, but mainly my work consists of right now is uh, full-time web development with the company that I work for and then a lot of uh, a lot of freelance illustration I'm doing coloring books and children's books and logos you name it and definitely keeps my skills sharp and I love it <laughs> excellent now you said you have uh, four children three boys and and a girl have any of your children shown any um, uh, talent for art they have actually. They they love sitting down. As soon as I start drawing, my my seven year old son and my five year old son, and then I've got a uh, two year old daughter and then a thirteen month old son. Um, so my seven year old and my five year old boys, they will flock to me as soon as I bring. I usually sketch on my iPad. I'll pull that out and I'll start sketching, and they want to see everything that I'm doing, and they just they're enamored with with the way I draw, and and it's just so cute to, to watch them be in awe of what I'm doing. Um, so I'll, I'll try and cultivate that with them and, and get them to get a pen and a paper and start drawing and, and doing some of the things that I'm doing. And, and my, my oldest, my seven-year-old, he's, he's definitely picked up uh, some of the habits that I have, and, and he's, he's a really good little artist. So. Excellent. That's awesome. It's it's so cool to see your, uh, your own... Uh, Flesh and blood, uh, taking after your talents, your passions. Um, uh, well, um, let's see. Um, I wanted to talk about your website design work. What uh, what made you decide that you were going to start doing that? Because that's a whole <clears throat> that's a whole different thing. Uh, art is, as you know, is, is is more of the the creativity. The the web designing. I mean, yeah, there's art involved in web design, but there's all that HTML stuff <laughs> that <clears throat> that yeah. that hurts my head Where, how did you uh learn about how to do all that and and uh is that something that you really really enjoy doing yeah that um funny story you know i went to uh ringling uh college of art and design i my my main purpose for going to ringling was being that it's in sarasota florida it's only two hours away from orlando and I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to work for Walt Disney Feature Animation uh, in Orlando. So my main goal for going to Ringling was so I could get recruited by Disney. Well, my, I think it was in 1998 or 99 when I actually graduated, Feature Animation in Orlando shut down. And they just moved everything out to Burbank, California. So I was kind of devastated at that because I wanted, I loved, I loved Florida and Orlando and wanted to be there. Well, um, I, I figured I kind of needed a backup plan, so I started teaching myself that crazy language of HTML, which is a complete, you know, it's like learning a, a completely different language. Um, knowing knowing that illustration is it's a really hard field to get a full time job in and to be lucrative and successful in. So, web development, web design, everybody needs a website, and everybody's always needing changes to their website. So, I, I, I taught myself that language and started uh, doing some websites here and there to prove my worth to some of the companies that I've worked for um, as a web developer or web designer. And uh, that's, that's turned out to be the bulk of my career uh, so far has been web design and web development with on the side doing a lot of my, my freelance illustration uh, to, to stay in that art realm. I mean, I do get to design the website, so that keeps, you know, that's obviously very artistic, but certainly two different sides of the brain going from drawing a cartoon character for a logo to then going to reading some alien looking code to make a website work. 
have you ever taken those tests that show whether you're left brain or right brain? You know what I'm talking about? They have them online. I actually took one of those. I, yeah, I just took one of those actually uh, about a week ago um, on Facebook, and it turned out I was 50-50, so that works out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yep, I, I, uh, mine sort of comes out uh, balanced on both sides as well, although uh, still the HTML stuff right. m makes my head hurt. <laughs> I see that we do have a caller uh, <clears throat> on the line, so I'm just, I, I haven't screened the call, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, um, bring the caller on. So, uh, area code 636, you are on the air. Oh, they just uh, hung up. <laughs> All right, I scared them. <laughs> I was just about to bring them on, and they dropped off the line. So, uh, anyways. <laughs> Well, uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> well, why don't you tell me uh, now what your thoughts are about everything that's happening? You know, first of all, how did you find Big Dog Music Mafia, and what made you decide to join us? Sure, absolutely. My uh, actually, I, I heard of you guys through my mom, who she is a uh, a major player with the Louis Tea Party, and uh, she. She had heard about you guys, and I think uh, you you actually were at one of the events, I can't remember the name of uh, one of the groups that you were involved with at one of the events, but she uh, she mentioned Big Dog Music, and she was like, you really need to check them out. They do, they you know, they uh, it's kind of like a Facebook for artists and, uh, like, fine artists and musicians, and it might be a good place for me to go to display my work and get connected with other conservative-minded artists. So I, I looked you guys up, I, I guess it was probably about a year and a half ago, and signed up for an account, and I, I love it. It's, it's absolutely, it's just it's such a great platform uh, for all of us like-minded folks. Well, good. Well, we're really glad that you found us. Um, now, um, you know, obviously our mission is to try to be sort of the Craigslist or the Angie's list of talent and entrepreneurs, um, creative folks that uh, happen to lean to the right, our uh, con fellow conservatives and libertarians, <clears throat> and, and sort of be a, a central hub where people can find the talent where they can hire somebody to do a logo or hire someone to build their website or uh, you know, hire somebody to write lyrics for their song or do photography for their, uh, their next album or even illustrate uh, do illustrations for their next children's book. So um, we're, we're thrilled to have folks like you joining us. What are your thoughts on how we can do, I guess, a better job, though, at getting people to understand why it's so important what we're doing and why it, it, it matters, why content being created by those of us who love this country and who love God and love the Constitution. Why is that important? Uh, yes, I mean, that's a really good question. I mean, having, having like-minded individuals come together, you know, and, and having a big network of folks that are like-minded and, and conservative and, and God-loving and God-fearing, you know, those if we can do that and we can assemble, we're the people that can change the world, and we're the people that can change laws and change, you know, the direction of this country. If, if enough of us stand together, then we're going to be able to have our voices heard. Well, that's uh, that's uh, quite uh, succinct and to the point. Um, <clears throat> do you have uh, um, other? web designers and animators and artist, uh, artistic friends that are liberal? Uh, actually, yes, big time. I've got uh, quite a few friends that um, they started out conservative when I, when I knew them, um, but they have since, since graduating, I went to Ringling with them, they've moved out west and they moved to California and uh, they, they go not the same the reason that they turned liberal was because they went to California, but they uh, they started working for certain companies out there where it was just their their frame of mind has completely changed, and it's it's really sad to see some of these friends of mine that had like minded you know mot motivations that I did completely change course and change path, and it, it, there's there's so many debates that 
I get in with them on Facebook about certain politics and certain issues that the country's dealing with, and I'm just baffled to see the responses that they come up with. And it's completely just brainwashed. For, you know, just, it just frustrates me. <laughs> Well, exactly, and it's and 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 it's it's almost ironic because it's the arts that are brainwashing them. These are artists, and and the fact that they don't understand, they don't get the power of art, of music, art, film. Uh, they don't understand the power that that uh, medium has had on them, um, <clears throat> and and swayed them to think the way the the creators of art that is in our mainstream want them to think they are they are they're falling in in lockstep with the masses it's like massive brainwashing of, of our society and 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 it's it's almost ironic that that they they can't even see that that, that art uh film and music are are the way that we change how people think and ultimately how they vote and and how how anybody can look at what's happening in our country right now uh with with you know an administration that lies that cheats that steals that that uh, deceives the the public how they can't see that is uh, it's i don't know it's mind boggling but uh anyways <laughs> yeah it, it really is. I've, I've got a i've got a, i mean just to kind of stand that topic a little bit i've got a friend of mine that in particular i won't Name names or the company that he works for, but he, he started out as just a great Christian conservative, and he still claims that he's a Christian. But he, he since having moved out west, he has completely changed course, and um, he, he defends this administration to almost to his death. It seems because anything that anybody says or any points, any actual facts that they bring up about what is happening in the White House right now he'll completely defend it and say that that's false. And it just, it's it, complete, like you said, it's mind-boggling. It's just baffling how how blind they are and how misguided, and I believe the term is cheaple. I mean, he's completely the coolest, and it's just it's so frustrating. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> mm. Well, um, I uh, we went right past our, our uh, uh, promo time, but... Uh, we're actually almost out of time. We're going to play one more song. We're going to run through your pictures again, uh, let people know where they can find your work. And uh, when, we'll come, when we come back, we'll wrap it up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play a song by uh, Mr. Ben Nanke, and it's called This House is Burning. From the match the sparks fly We're watching them ignite On the curtains and On the shutters and The rain it drips inside As the ceiling caves in In the cellar we hide Hoping to make it out alive This house is burning down Are we prepared? Do we have our loved ones close? Are we doing what we can? To reduce all of the damages What went I don't understand Those stone blocks far underneath Kicked apart brick by brick Until they're weak at the knees Neglected circuitry Hidden just behind the walls Who knew it was in tatters Tangled up in jumbled knots Up above the family leaves The sound of rumbling tromping feet Cares what lies beneath and as the fuse is short out This house is burning down, be prepared We need to start battening down Turn the faucets on our heads Let's wake the dead up so we'll all be drenched Grab a pail and fill it up This house is burning down, be prepared We were praying all these years for awakening It comes like a fire so Saturate our skin Let's drown out our sin Cause this house is burning down This house is burning down
And that was Ben Nanke with This House is Burning Down. And unfortunately, this country seems to be burning down with everything that's happening uh, uh, with Obamacare. Uh, now tell me, how, how has, uh, have you personally been impacted by uh, this new quote-unquote Affordable Care Act? Thankfully not. No, my uh, I've got a really great employer that provides uh, insurance for me, and they haven't been affected uh, yet. So uh, I just keep praying. I pray daily that uh, it, it stays that way because having a uh, four four little babies and my wife to take care of, you know, that's that's something I need to look out for. Amen. In fact, uh, um, Richard Gibbs, one of our artists uh, in the chat room tonight. Uh, we were talking about your liberal artist friends and uh, how, you know, they st it, it's amazing that they started out conservative and then they went in the other direction. But something that Rich shared I thought was uh, uh, very interesting. He said that some artists want to go rogue and they want to do the dirty and the violent stuff. And so they go to the liberal side so they can do that with a clear conscience, which is kind of bizarre. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I could see that. I mean, I, I've got another buddy of mine that uh, he's a conservative. He's an artist as well, and um, it, it, there's there's a lot of these companies that we would love, you know, we'd love to do the work for, like Pixar or DreamWorks. But it's it seems not not saying that they're necessarily liberal, necessarily liberal, but what we're seeing is a lot of the artists there are, and a lot of our friends that want to to ring on stuff have turned liberal since working there. And it just shows us that they were either, you know, either they're doing this for a career move so they can stay in cahoots with the big, the big guys there and keep a job, or they were weak-minded to begin with. So it's just, it's, it's sad, really, either way. It is very sad. Um, and, you know, have, have you actually tried to convince them? Um, I mean, what, when, when, whenever you do try to have a conversation with them, it, with the facts, just the facts, you know, when you throw numbers at them, I mean, what, how do they normally respond to you? Yeah, it, it's funny. Um, we'll, we'll have all kinds of different sources um, it, from different news outlets and media outlets and different sites that just from all spectrums all different sides showing our points and, and how factual they are. And they'll still call us out and say that we're, for some reason, they'll still say that we're not looking at all the facts, even though we've provided them with A, B, and C of why we're right. And it's not necessarily that we're trying to prove that we're right. We're trying to prove that they're closed-minded and that they need to, like, actually see what's happening and not just be so blinded by this the misdirection and mis uh, misinformation that's out there. Exactly, exactly. Well, you know, God bless you for doing what you can to try to convince your your liberal peers. I mean, we, we all of us in, in the arts, uh, whether we're musicians or painters or graphic artists or cartoonists or filmmakers, it seems like all of the creative arts are dominated by liberals who uh, continue to be, uh, allow themselves to be poisoned and indoctrinated by the very medium that they uh, are engaged in. So, um, you know, all we can do is just keep keep doing what we do and, and uh, hopefully uh, this, this uh, family of conservative libertarian artists of ours will continue to grow and uh, the, the larger we get, the louder our voices become. And uh, we are very uh, proud to have you among those voices. Um, so we look forward to uh, your continued outstanding work. And, and um, uh, if anybody wants to uh, hire you to design a website or to uh, design a logo, uh, they can go to your site, uh, mikesofka.com, and you have a, uh, an online contact form that they can fill out, correct? That's correct, absolutely. All right. Well, um, it is... Uh, the weekend before Thanksgiving, so we want to say, first of all, thank you for uh, taking the time out um, to spend with us, 
and to share your story and about your work and have a fantastic blessed and safe thanksgiving you and your beautiful family or young children and i can't wait to see you ought to share some of their work and post it on your big dog page so that we can uh, we can all enjoy it in fact we may even start a, a children's corner where we can uh, show off the work of our young prodigies or protege wh whatever the uh, the right word is i am um, I um absolutely I'll, I'll certainly do that. <laughs> awesome. All right, well we're going to go ahead and close out this show with a song by Ms. Cat Beach and the song is called Love Me Out Loud and uh thanks once again Mike. God bless. Thank you so much Lisa. Okay. This morning, didn't want to get out of my bed Thinking about you and how you mess up my head Who's right or wrong, just don't matter at all I'm tired of being the one who always takes the fall And that's going to do it for tonight's edition of Off the Hook. 
here on Big Dog Music Radio. We hope that you've enjoyed the show and look forward to having you join us again next Saturday night, same time, same station, where we'll be chatting with yet another fabulous culture warrior and spinning some more fantastic music by the very talented artists at BigDogMusicMafia.com. If you don't have any plans, we'd love to have you stick around for our second hour Afterburner, our live listener request show, where you get to pick the songs that we play. Just give us a call at 347-838-8898. And if we have the song, we'll be happy to play it. So until next week, keep your chin up, keep the faith, and keep up the good fight. I'm your host, Lisa May. Good night, Breitbart, wherever you are.